What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from One Reviews here talking about what I'm going to be watching, not entirely reacting to, but at least watching for this next coming season of anime, and it is quite a doozy. I have eight shows just picked out that have piqued my interest, and I'm probably gonna find more. It's gonna be a bit of a big swing considering I'm only watching one show this season of Solo Loveland, and then now I have eight on my at least radar. Again, I will let you know which ones I'm planning on reacting to. If I can get to them, I'd have an even seen when the release date is and the release schedule so i'm gonna have to basically write it on my calendar and figuring out what's going to happen but i'm gonna go from the most popular show of the ones with the most amount of people looking forward to it and then going down to the least favorite talking a little bit about it and then just letting you know what i'm looking forward to most so the number one no surprise here konosuba konosuba season three i've never reacted to the first two seasons as you guys can probably see on my channel, but I might, I don't know. I think a good show to laugh along with will be a good addition to some of the other shows on this list. Although granted, I would actually say it's pretty much a 50-50 in terms of just the genres of uh, series that I'm looking forward to. But let me know if you want me to react to this one. I do realize that, yes, I never reacted to one and two, but I have seen it. I'm definitely going to need to rewatch it to do it again. Funny thing is, this this airs on my birthday, so birthday present to me. Uh, yeah, but Kona Super Season 3, it has a lot. It's the number one most anticipated show of the next season, and it makes sense. But yeah, move on to the next one, Mushoku Tensei Season 2, Part 2. Now, if you guys follow me on Twitter or X, you know that I have been going on a fitness journey. I've been trying to lose weight, been losing weight, down 20 pounds since December of last year. So, good progress, I am keep on going. I've been buying stuff to improve my health, buying weights, buying uh, supplements, just doing things so I can eventually get healthier. This show, I can equate to the reason why. I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go on the treadmill, but it's boring doing absolutely nothing. And at the time, I wasn't doing like my dailies in Nikkei, uh, like the chat I am, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to go to start watching something. What was a really good show that I thought was really interesting because I saw a clip of it on Twitter with Shoko Tensei. I saw the, uh, oh crap. It was, uh, one of the main characters, or, uh, uh, it was, uh, her, she has a weird name, dark skinned cat girl swordsman with one eye, uh, and does this really cool animation. I saw it on Twitter and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm probably going to have to look at this. This looks interesting. Um, and then I decided to watch it. And then I fell in love with it. Although the difference is I'd watch it in English because it's a little bit hard to watch and also go on the treadmill at the same time. So watch in English. So it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment. Let me know if I should watch, uh, react to this as well. More than happy to. Now the next one, I, I'm not going to go look at anything because I want to go into this as blind as possible. Kaiju number eight. I know this is a very, very popular series. Um, and yeah, I know nothing about it. Not a single thing about it, besides probably the name, Kaiju number eight. Pretty much can tell it's about Kaijus. I know, color me surprised, I'm a prophet, I know things. But yes, Kaiju number eight looked very interesting. Um, don't know anything about it. I refuse to even look at the summary. I just have this window up just to show you, you know, visual storytelling. Don't know anything about it. Looking forward to it. But yeah, probably going to react to this one. This one looks interesting. Uh, just judging from the um, photo right here. But yeah, catch number eight. Definitely on this. Now, the next one I'm probably not going to react to because it's a slice life kind of genre with a little bit of, I think, drama mixed in. Spice and Wolf remake. Now, I remember watching most of season one way back in the day when it first aired. I never finished season two. So I remember enjoying it, but I think this would be a great palate cleanser from watching. I'm assuming Kaiju number eight is going to be pretty intense and action packed. Mashoka Tensei could have it, depends on how, how they want to do it. Although the first part was very world building and slice of life because, you know, Academy. Uh, Konosuba is just going to be hilarious. So this is going to be the slice of life. Um, I think it's going to be a pal palate cleanser for maybe the next season uh, series that I'm going to be showing. Uh, but yeah, again, this one is a probably the most up in the air of whether or not I'm going to react to it or not in terms of me being uncertain. Not entirely sure. 
Next one is something that I've been touting for a while, and I really hope a lot of people watch it because the premise was very good from when I read it. I hate the English name of it, but Go Go Loser Ranger. Why the hell could they just not keep the original translation name of Ranger Reject? That was such an amazing title. I thought it was great. It stuck out. But when you hear, oh, what are you watching? Go Go Loser Ranger? No. It's stupid. Ranger reject all the way. Screw you translations. Anyway, people have asked me, what is this show about? And the best way I can put it is it's the boys meet Power Rangers. Even though I've never read the boys or watched the boys, I did enough plot synopsis and seen clips to know enough about it. Yes, this is probably the boys version of Power Rangers. Power Rangers are not the good guys, but they also are at the same time. It's basically the lesser two evils, but the main character is the bad guy. It's a lot. I'm not going to spoil much because it's a lot. Um, from what the trailers have shown, I haven't seen the newest one, I believe, or the newest ones. They're nailing the animation quality, and I think it's going to be very good. If you guys don't know, this is the creator of... Quinton Subject One Tuplets, he actually wanted to do something in this genre in the first place, but I believe his publisher or his editor, someone someone in that status, basically said, hey, we want you to try to pursue a rom-com, basically build up his writing skills and go from there. Quintessential Quintuplets was made. As you can tell, um, he wasn't at the best part of his writing structure yet because best girl Nino didn't win. Fuck you. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Definitely going to be reacting to this oh, 100%. This is for sure being reacted to. It's on the 7th, which I believe is a Monday. Let me check really quickly. Uh, oh, Sunday. So Sundays is when this airs. Perfect. I'm going to be completely open that day. Uh, so yeah, Sundays, perfect timing. It's not like Saturdays where I get off a little bit late at work sometimes. So yeah, uh, Ranger Reject, 100% going to be reacting to this one. No doubt. Next one was honestly one that just showed up simply due to the fact that it looked interesting. Um, and it's totally a shoujo a anime, uh, a condition called Love. Uh, just reading from the plot synopsis, it looked interesting enough where it was on my attention. Totally a shoujo. I can totally understand if people don't want to watch it. Um, totally get it. Sorry, just moving the screen around just a little bit. But yeah, totally understand if people don't want to watch it. This is not going to be one I react to. Probably going to be something I catch up on. But am I going to be react watching week to week? Not sure. Um, I don't know what this is based off of. I just read the synopsis. looked interesting, and we're going to go from there. So, yeah, not reacting to this one unless unless people who know about the source material, because I don't know if this is based off anything, tell me otherwise. Next one, and this is simply because of my past, Bartender Glass of God. If you don't know, about a year, year and a half ago, I really was into cocktail making. I did a little bit of cosmology just a little bit, didn't do it for too long, maybe for a few months, I really was into it, spent a lot of my money doing it, um, but I loved making cocktails, I loved drinking, uh, and not to get drunk in all honesty, I appreciated the taste, I, I began to get that refined tongue, um, and I loved it. So this one looked interesting, I haven't seen a lick of things, anything about it, I just read the synopsis, I was like, this, I didn't even know about this, this looks interesting, definitely on my list, probably not gonna react to it, but we will see. Um, and then last but not least, actually probably last but least at the same time, Blue Archive. I played the game, never got super far into it, I didn't really like the leveling system tied to your actual level as your character, didn't really care for that, sometimes I was just time-gated to be stuck on specific uh, levels for a long time, not the biggest fan of the gameplay. I didn't read the, didn't watch a lick of the story, so I have no idea. I just realized it was a little bit weird that some of your students had a really big, uh, I would say hard on, but they're girls because they're all girls, but they had a big um, attraction to you, the teacher, uh, and it, it felt very illegal. Um, it, despite some of the characters looking significantly, yeah, you're not a high school kid or, or school kid in general, looking at you, Sayori. By the way, yeah. Um, yeah, some of the girls, I was like, I, they're very attractive, but I have to remember, they're in school. This is weird. <laughs> Again, it's Pixel, doesn't matter. But yeah, this one looked interesting. It's by Yostar's Pictures, so I'm curious. I don't think it's going to do super well. I think it'll be average on Mal. 
7.0 to 6.5. I think that's going to be the average. It's going to have its player base of the original um, gacha game that people it's going to appeal to. I don't know if it's going to appeal to me. I think it's, it's not something I'm going to react into, by the way. Um, but it looked interesting. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll see if the story was for me. Um, but yeah, I, I highly doubt I'm going to see the characters that I like the most in here. Like I said, I think Ciari was farther down um, in the story. I, I don't really remember. I just remember that she was uh, a character that I liked aesthetically. I found aesthetically pleasing. But there is a lot in this season, and I don't know if there's. I'm sure there is. There's going to be some really cool hidden gems in this one. Like one that looked interesting was this one, uh, Grandpa and Grandma Turn Young again. Didn't even read the synopsis, but I think that's going to be a cute show. But there's a lot. I feel like there's a lot that's going to be here. Um, whether or not I'm going to be watching, we will see. But yeah, um, I think this was another one that looked interesting. Um, I think I remember seeing a couple things about it. Uh, Kaito Otome to Kamika Kamikakushi. There's a lot. There's a lot. So if there's any other series that I should at least look into... Let me know. Drop them in the comment section below. But yes, I have eight total ones that I'm looking forward to. That is Konosuba Season 3, Mashoka Sensei Season 2 Part 2, Kaiju Number 8, Spice and Wolf the Original, or the remake, um, Go Go Lusa Ranger, Ranger Reject, uh, A Condition Called Love, Bartender Glass of God, and Blue Archive the Animation. Is that eight? Okay, that's eight. Sorry, I hope I, um, my Asian math skills was coming in clutch. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys are going to be watching in the comment section below and what I should be looking out for if it's not on the list that I just let miss, um, that I just listed. Words are hard. Anyways, I'm going to go wrap this up. Let me know what you guys got in the comment section below as always and what I should react to. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.